I'm Jess Parnes with GoPSUSports.com, and I'm here in an empty Beaver Stadium where earlier today over 105,000 Nittany Lion fans watched Penn State dominate over Akron University. Stories of the day include Joe Paterno's first return to the field for the season opener, and Darrell Clark led an impressive offensive performance. Armed with three new wide receivers, Darrell Clark had a strong first game. He threw for 353 yards with three touchdowns. We caught up with him in the media room after the game. Absolutely, I thought that uh, those guys came out, definitely made plays for us, proved to some people that they can get open, and uh, you know, uh, Moy definitely came out and played. You know, really, really was proud of Chaz and, and uh, Rams up. They, all those guys did a good job of getting really open, and uh, we were able to move, uh, move the chains with those guys making plays for us. Well, I think number one, these guys were all around. You know, it isn't like Zug or Moy or a bracket haven't been around, so he, they have worked with, with Darrell, so there's, there, there was a little jump start on that. But I think the point you, you, you're making is a good one, is the fact that ordinarily you get an inside of receivers, it takes a while, it takes a ball game, it takes adjustment of some coverages, it's a quarterback getting the field for uh, the wide out. We also caught up with Sean Lee in the media room, who was thrilled to be back on the field. I had those chills down my back again. You know, I mean, the first time you come out and walk up there, you know, and you see the whole crowd in the background, it's just unbelievable for me, especially with all the work I put in. You know, I've been out for a long time, haven't played since 2007, and to be back was just unbelievable. I think one of the things that people don't realize is last year, him and Sean, even though they were not playing, were as much a part of that team as anybody. They're both tremendous players in the locker room, around players, leadership. Uh, telling them what coaches are trying to get done, what we're trying to do. You know, they're not powders, they're not guys that go, oh, I feel bad I got hurt. Those guys worked like dogs last year to make us get better and get into that Rose Bowl last year. Final score, Penn State 31, Akron 7. The Nittany Lions now prepare for Syracuse next weekend here in Beaver Stadium at 12 p.m. For GoPSUSports.com, I'm Jess Parnas.